It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the AFC South. It's the Houston Texans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 24. This is an all-sports station production. This is the NFL on EA Sports, and you get a look inside a hot and humid Everbank Stadium here in the city of Jacksonville. Today, it's an interdivision matchup in the AFC South, as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, thrilled to be back with you. Charles, today is the day, September 7th, 2023. Should be a national holiday, in my view. 206 days since the Chiefs beat the Eagles in Super Bowl 57. The NFL is back. The opening Thursday night game happening tonight. Let's talk big picture. What kind of chances do you give the Chiefs and the Eagles of repeating as conference champions? First of all, I'm with you. It should be a national holiday. I like where your head is on that one. Let's talk about the Chiefs. They've just dominated the AFC West. I give them an excellent chance of getting back to the conference championship game and maybe beyond. For the Eagles, a little more problematic. There hasn't been a repeat champion in the NFC East since the Eagles did it in 2003, 2004. So their road appears to be a little bit tougher. start the proceedings and we are underway here in Jacksonville and he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line so here are the Texans now with a fresh face at quarterback the second overall pick from Ohio State CJ Stroud in over two seasons, Stroud showed all he needed to at Ohio State. All-American, Heisman finalist, program records galore. He looked every bit like the number one overall pick. He went number two, but Houston is thrilled to have him. A well, man coming off a great rookie year, it's Damian Pierce. He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Here's second and seven. Here's Stroud. That's to the veteran. It's Robert Woods. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. So, Charles, you know, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, in the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. And yeah, he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But there's an example of patience being rewarded. Ran the ball on first down and got stuffed. Most people would scream, throw the ball here in this situation. They stayed with their roots, stayed with running the football, and they get rewarded. Now here's Stroud on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Throwing up first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. At 
after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. The second down throw now from Stroud. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 34-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. I give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. They have three yards on first down, just one yard there. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Stroud on third down now. Target. The coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So on fourth down, Texan kicker Kaimi Fairbairn comes on. It'll be a 47 yard attempt from the left hash. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And it's now 3 0 Texans. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. Fairbairn now following the main field goal. He'll send this one away. Jamal Agnew now to return it. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Well, the Jaguars ready to go on offense for the first time. And they're led by the former number one pick in the draft in his third season now, Charles, Trevor Lawrence. Last year, we got the Trevor Lawrence with so many tapped to be the savior of the Jaguars. He broke 4,000 yards for the first time and threw 25 touchdown passes and guided his team to the playoffs. This young man, he's been good since the first time he picked up a ball in youth league. They expect nothing less from him again this season. Now Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. Well, he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Nice job there utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. A quick throw there is incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Lawrence. Screenplay. Here's ETN. Oh, look at the juke. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Throwing again here, it's Lawrence. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target, but it'll be second down. Oh. 
They'll run for the first time with Travis Etienne. And some good running out of the gates as he takes this up to the 33. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker. Touchdown, Jaguars! Calvin Ridley, 33 yards. And the Jaguars are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. They said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned him. And I don't think it's the last time they called his number in this one. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Here comes Darius Phillips out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Stroud to throw it. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. The touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun on third down, here's Stroud. He's going to air it out deep for Woods. And it's knocked away and incomplete. It almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. On fourth down, here's Cameron Johnston on to punt for Houston. Back deep for Jacksonville, the dangerous Jamal Agnew. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. Taking it about the 36. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Here's Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram, and they regroup defensively after the broken tackle, getting to him just beyond the 45. And they'll come up second and seven. Looking to throw Lawrence. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Lawrence will throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. 
He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Jacksonville, and it's the Jags with the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Now Lawrence to throw. And his throw is incomplete. And he was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. And it's second down. Play action. It's Lawrence. To the sideline, and it's caught. But boy, he's out of bounds. And they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. On third down, Lawrence. He's going to get that to his run back out of the backfield. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A big gain of 31 on third down. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll try the left side with ETN. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Travis ETN. A 13-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to extend their lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. McManus's point after is good, and that pushes the lead up to 11. To the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Jags grab it. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. So problems compounding themselves here on the return. They just give up the touchdown, and now they lose the football. Yeah, partner, things are starting to unravel a little bit for them right in front of our eyes. They're going to be looking for some answers and quickly. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. And they'll run with ETN. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. 
This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. The Jaguars on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're looking at a third and goal here. Lawrence. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Calvin Ridley. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Well, CD, that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. Extra point from McManus is good. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Phillips now from the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. And here comes the Texans now. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21-10. to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, and discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. It's been a very one-sided game so far. They got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. No gain on that run, and while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. On second down, it's Stroud. Got a man, it's Brown. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And Stroud now to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Short yardage situation, you have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Here's Devin Singletary. He played in this state at Florida Atlantic. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 16 yards on that one and also a Texan first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Stroud now on first and 10. Short throw into the hands of Jordan. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it'll be second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. So give him two yards there on the completion. And now third down and six to go.
Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. And they'll accept that penalty. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Now Stroud. That's underneath to Pierce. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. Now Kaimi Fairbairn out for the field goal try for the Texans. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now Kaimi Fairbairn for the field goal try. He hit his first, this one from 38. The kick by Fairbairn is good, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Out comes Calvin Ridley and the offense for their next drive. He has certainly made the most of his catches so far, both of them going for touchdowns here in half number one. And we've never met a team that doesn't talk about getting off to a fast start and featuring guys that they want to have the ball early. We're seeing both of those come into play here. Off to an incredible start, got their feature guy going, and now everyone else should have opportunities. Two yards to go, second down. Now Lawrence. They'll get this one complete to Zane Jones. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Second and ten. Here's Lawrence to throw. This one complete to Christian Kirk. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Again, it's Lawrence. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. 
You're down two touchdowns. You just know defensively you absolutely have to come up with a big play. That nearly was one right there. Looked over at the sideline immediately after the drop and just saw the dejection. They felt it. They thought he had it. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. He'll find ETN out of the backfield. They showed up a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They go play action now. Lawrence working in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Second down and eight. Lawrence going to throw again. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. And the defense almost got one there, partner. That could have been his first pick. He's been good so far, but you're right. That was nearly a costly mistake. Sometimes you get a little bit too confident when the game's going along as it has been for him. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Now Lawrence. Great vision there by Lawrence as he scrambles for a first down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. The kick by McManus is good. And that will extend their lead even further. It's a well paced drive. They were able to calmly take it down the field, and then they finished the half with three points. Yeah, and that's what's commonly known as playing the two-for-one game, right? Being able to get the points at the end of the half, knowing you're getting the ball to start the second half. Gives you a chance to go out and double what you got done in the first half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And they can't bring him down. So we hit the halftime break here in Jacksonville with the Jags on top. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Jags were treated to a strong first half from their franchise quarterback, Trevor Lawrence. He fired his guys into the lead with two first half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. To return, here's Agnew. 
And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. From the shotgun, Lawrence. He'll drop this one off with ETM. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's going to be caught by Kirk. A little juke. And he'll have his pass the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Lawrence to throw. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be second down. Off the play fake, here's Lawrence. He completes it to Ridley. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 45-yard line. That nice pickup of 17 yards. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. On first and 10, it's ETN. That's a strong running. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. Lawrence's throw into the hands of Kirk. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. From the 24 now, here's second and three. Looking to throw, Lawrence. That's going to be caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That one goes for 24 yards. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. ETN. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. From the gun, it's Lawrence. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. 
from three yards out. And the Jaguars take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here's the Texans offense now, readying for their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Stroud on third down now. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A huge play there for Houston. 54 yards. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. Stroud's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. And the Texans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. They'll run here with Pierce. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Damian Pierce, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Texans are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it and catch it, and he gets it done. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to 18.
So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And no return here for Agnew, so they'll bring it out, start the drive at the 25. Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville offense ready to go back to work. He really continues to pick apart this defense. Last drive, perfect, and it culminated in his third touchdown pass. As long as we've been doing this, how many times has a player in this type of a zone described the game as really slowed down? Yep. So right now, instead of warp speed, it's snail's just, pace. Oh, snail's pace for him, and he can do whatever he wants. He has all the time in the world to throw the ball, and his offensive line has been giving him that. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Lawrence. Caught on the right side by Jones. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. It's Jaguar football here, and they'll look to extend their lead as we begin quarter number four. Lawrence, now this is ETN on the draw. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 43, here's second down and seven. Another tote for ETN. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. this one to Ridley complete and he will have a Jaguars first down I do believe yes he's got it by about a yard there on third and three they gave him the option there on third and short runner pass you choose and he decided to fling it out to the perimeter and that was the right call as they pick up the first down so a first and ten now in Houston territory at the 49 yard line on the counter ETN and he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. He was brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and six. A give to ETN running right. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. Ten yards there, good enough for the Jags first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Second and seven. Draw play, ETN. And he's going to be close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Texans' 26. 65 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved him and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. The Jaguars on third down. They've been automatic. How about eight for eight in the game thus far? They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, Tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And a flag comes 
head as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Well, every lineman knows the rule. You only get a one-yard buffer beyond that line of scrimmage, and then the flag is thrown, and he got tagged for it there. ETN up the middle. Shifts free at the 15. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Once more, ETN, and this time he is into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. McManus now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it was capped off by a Travis Etienne touchdown run. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive so they'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Here's second and seven now from the 28. The second down throw now from Stroud. Open man downfield is Woods. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Stroud now on first and 10. He finds his target, it's Schultz. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 
That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Well, this game well in hand. Perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Again, it's Drown. To Pierce, they set up the screen. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And they've used him in the passing game to great effect so far. And here they get it to him again on the screen. And it turns into a nice positive play. Stroud now on third and two. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Touchdown! Robert Woods from three yards out. And the Texans are able to cut into that deficit. Obviously, the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback, but hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time you step up and throw the football, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, he took advantage of a little bit of loose coverage there with the lead, but at the same time, got it done. It'll take a little bit of satisfaction away from that throw. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. To return, here's Agnew. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Jacksonville offense gets the ball back. Travis Etienne and company head back out there. He toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. They work now on second and nine. ETN once more. Five yards, now it's third and five. Well, things started off exciting. This one had a high scoring first half, and nobody let their foot off the gas in the second half either, Charles. And you know, for them, a really nice victory in a high-scoring output. You're right about that because so many times we'll see teams come out slow and take a while to get going, and points become a little bit harder to score near the end of games, as we know, because everyone tightens down. But no such issues in this game. The scoring started right away and held up at a steady clip the remainder of the game. So 